What's going on? It's Mr. Bass, and I've got a cool unboxing today. I have got one of the ultimate topwater baits to share with you today, and that is the rat. That's right, rat fishing. How many of you out there are throwing a rat on a regular basis? And I'm not talking a tiny rat, because I fished with the mouse, if you will, but I have been hearing a lot about the rat. There's guys out in California and out on the swim bait part of the world, big swim bait part of the world that have been throwing big rats for a long, long time. And so I've decided to get into the big rat game. So it's all brand new for me, but I'm pretty excited about it. And I thought I would just share with you the rats that I've bought and talk to you a little bit about them and maybe about why I decided to go with them. So first up is the PB rat. PB for personal best, be my guess. And this is a two-piece rat. They make a two-piece, a three-piece, and a four-piece. And I wasn't brave enough to go with the four-piece, but I did buy some three-piece and I bought one two-piece. And the reason I did is I kind of looked at reviews and stuff and what I've uh, read and seen is that the three-piece probably has a little better action than this two-piece does and uh, so I still want to try a two-piece so uh, that's what you've got now the PB rat is made out of a resin it used to it originally was a wooden hand carved bait but now it is a resin bait and if you notice it's got this swirl pattern all over it and they say the reason they put the, sw the swirl pattern on there is so that you don't really have to worry about scrapes and nicks and cuts and gouges. Uh, this just kind of covers all that up. Of course, it's a wake bait, so it has a big blade down, down there. So the two-piece PB Rat is like five and a half inches long. And then the tails on these, you know, add about another five inches. One great feature about these is is there's a, a screw lock function in here so that when this tail wears out or if it gets bit off or chewed off, you can just take you any kind of a um, worm like a zoom trick worm and pop it in as a tail. I think you can buy tails from them also if you want. Um, it also, uh, this is kind of a cool little feature, is on the bill it has... PB carved into, into the bill, just kind of a nice little touch. It has two big beefy owner hooks. These are the owner ST36 hooks. Uh, the front one is a one aught, the back one is a number one. The two piece rat weighs 2.4 ounces and it really feels light. It feels really light compared to a lot of swim baits that I've thrown. It feels incredibly light. Uh, this color is white brown, they call it, or brown white. And um, one of the things that's kind of unique about these is there's no two that are exactly alike. They're all individual. And some guys really like the fact that, hey, mine's one of a kind. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't find another one like it. The two piece costs $129.99, so 130 bucks. So that's the two piece. Now let me show you the three piece. And in the three piece, I got some of those white brown ones and I got one white black one. And this was just based on color availability. But you can see the three piece model looks quite a bit bigger. It's actually seven inches long compared to the five and a quarter inches. Let's see if I can. Show them like that. That kind of gives you a little idea, anyway. And this is the black white, same size hooks. Um, lots of action in this thing, as you can see. And of course, it's unique. It's a one of a kind. The three piece weighs 2.9 ounces, so. 2.5 for the little guy, 2.9 for 
the mid-size one. They also make a four-piece one. Uh, I'm not sure what it weighs. Uh, I didn't buy any of the four-piecers because I just felt they're too big. The three-piece costs one, uh, $149.99, so 150 bucks for the three-piece. And uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. I have thrown this one a little bit. I haven't got bit on it yet. So I got a two-piece and a three-piece, and then I got a couple of three-piece of the brown and whites. All right, and then I have one other three-piece that is not the brown and white. It's the brown and black. And you can definitely tell that it's different than the brown and white, but not by a lot. Brown and white, brown and black. This side here looks pretty black. If you look at the top of it and this side, definitely got some black there where this brown and white looks much wider on the side. Now what I really wanted was an all white or an all black. Couldn't get those. They just weren't available. Uh, so eventually I probably will, if I really like end up liking these, I probably will go with an all black or an all white. So basically right now I've got three of the three piece and one of the two piece. I think they're pretty darn cool, pretty exciting. So those are the PB rats I ordered. Then I ordered, I decided, I, 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 wanted, I wanted a few others because I wanted, well, I wanted to test some other ones that were cheaper, obviously. And I also wanted to test uh, some that were different colors that I couldn't get with the PB rat. So I bought a couple of others. Let me show you some of those. Okay, I bought two of the uh, Mike Buka rats. And these are <laughs> very basic looking. Um, they're about four and a half inches long, if I believe. But they're actually almost the same weight as my PB Rat, the, as the two-piece PB Rat. So when you get this out of the package and look at it, it looks very rough. It's made out of a plastic as well. Um, it just feels so much cheaper. It does have heavy, beefy, mustad triple grip hooks on it, which is nice. It has a replaceable tail. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure about is just how well this is going to work. It's in there with a nail, so I don't know how you can keep removing that nail and it not being a problem in and out. But in any case, there's a nail in there that holds the tail in. It's a 2.2 ounces compared with the PB Rat that's similar in size. The PB Rat, as I said, weighs 2.4 ounces. The Mike Buka weighs 2.2. This pink color they call cotton candy. And just kind of comparing the two, you can see much cheaper, uh, but here's one thing I do know. Mike Buka generally doesn't put his name on something that's junk. Usually if he puts his name on it, it's good. And I don't think the bass are gonna care how shiny and fancy it looks. So I still have confidence that this bait is gonna catch me fish. And it's considerably cheaper, but it's not as cheap as you'd think, $52 for this little guy. $51.99. Now let me show you the other color. Okay, and then here is a tan one. And if you just kind of look up close, you can see, man, quality control, not that important to these guys. It is not what I would call a very detailed or, or quality lure at all. But as I said, if it catches me fish, I don't care. I hope the $51 isn't just for Mike Buka's name. I hope they really prove to be um, as good as everyone claims they are. So 
Got two of these, got a pink one and a tan one. Last but not least, as I said, I want a white rat and I want an all black rat. And the only ones I could find were by Spro. And I'm not trying to say anything bad about these because the BBZ1 rat, hey, it's got a great reputation. This thing is a fish catcher. I absolutely know it. I absolutely believe it. So this is the 50 size, as it says here. It comes with an extra tail, which is good because uh, you can't put a worm in as a tail for these things. They're uh, five and a quarter inches long. They're two and a quarter ounces in weight. So they're about the same weight as those other small, as the Buka and as the two-piece PB Rat. So first I'll show you the black one. Of course it's a plastic lure. But man, it's got some great details. Let's see if I can get it to... It really does. I mean, if you want to say what looks more like a real rat than any of the others, I'd say the Spro. It's got little feet on it. And it has a very flexible tail. So that's the black one. Here's the white one. Again, Pretty realistic looking eyes, head, ears, feet. And you know, you got to have a white rat, don't you? You got to. And when I'm throwing top water, I got to have a black one as well. I mean, that's just kind of the way, way I'm wired. These are only 30 bucks, $29.99. So... They might be the very best value in the whole rat world. Now, the purist will tell you, uh, 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 the action, the sound, everything about this PB rat makes it superior to a plastic off the assembly line manufactured Spro rat. But as I said before, the Spro Rat's got a reputation. It absolutely catches fish. So I didn't buy it just for looks. I bought it because I fully, completely plan on catching fish with this thing. I also bought a smaller Spro Rat for when times are tough and I really feel like I need to downsize. This is the 40 size. And it's a unique color, too, that looks very realistic, very lifelike. And uh, it only weighs one ounce. It's four inches long. I like the look of it. As I said, you know, it definitely looks lifelike, realistic, as it's waking through the water. I'm sure... It will get a bass's attention. In fact, I've caught fish with this size and smaller. So I'm very confident about, about this one. And this is, this is an easy one to carry and keep in your, your hip pocket, if you will. These really big babies, you got to have a plan for toting them around, obviously. Storing them, carrying them. So when I'm not fishing with them, I'm probably going to keep them hanging on my shelf back here with my other swim baits. And when I am, how do you fish this? What do you throw this on? I personally am going to be throwing this on, uh, on my swim bait rod, an 8-foot swim bait rod, basically. And uh, I am going to probably throw it on 25-pound fluorocarbon unless... The fact that fluoro doesn't float is going to be a problem for me. And if it is, then I'll probably throw it on braid. But my big swim bait rods, for the most part, my swim baits I like to throw on fluorocarbon, 25 pound. And so unless I'm going to switch my reels out, I'm probably going to stick with that. It'll just take some experimentation to find out. But I'm really excited about these rats. 
I plan to really up my rat game, as I said before. And I think, man, I got a whole group of awesome looking rats here that's going to give me the opportunity to try that. So look for future videos. I guarantee you I'm going to have and I'm going to post future videos of me catching fish on the rats. The PB. The Mike Buka. And the Spro BBZ1 Rat. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait to try it out. And I can't wait for you to join me. I hope that this was fun, informative, and helpful. If so, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!